Are you coming in July 2023 intake? Well, this video is specifically for you then as we are going to give you some key tips you need to know before arriving in Australia. So let's get started with our first tip, which is your visa. Now we made a very comprehensive video in regards to the student timeline if you're planning to study in July 2023 intake, which I highly recommend you to watch after this video. In that video specifically, I talk about what are the things you need to do each month if you're planning to study in Australia. Long story short, in that specific video I talk about that if you're planning to study in July 2023 intake you should have applied your visa by May which we are currently in at the moment so if you haven't applied for your visa I highly recommend you to apply for it as soon as possible as if you are applying later than May then it might be a bit of touch and go in regards to getting your visa sorted and if you have already got your visa sorted that's great congratulations I would love to hear from you in the comment section please let me know what's your status have you applied for it or if you have already already got it let me know in the comments I would love to reply back to you the next thing will be in regards to the flights now as you know during July there will be plenty of students who will be coming to study in Australia as July is the second biggest intake for studying in Australia so I highly recommend you to book your flights nice and early if you can book it as soon as possible the reason being that as there will be more students coming in you can expect that the airlines will be charging extra money in order for you to come here which will add to your cost so find your preferred flights nice and early and also check what sort of options do they have for baggage do they allow you to bring additional baggages and if you have a meal preferences check on those things as well then one important tip here is that make sure to book through the reputable websites so if something does go wrong or in case you need to reschedule it you can do it easily I personally prefer using Skyscanner as they give you plenty of options and most of the providers on that specific website are pretty reliable so if you want to use that we'll leave the link of that in the description box below for you the next one is in regards to packing now if you're coming in July intake in Australia I recommend you packing your bags with some additional winter clothes the reason being that by the time you arrive in Australia it will be already winter so bringing in some jackets some additional clothes will certainly help obviously it will depend upon the city you are coming in as well but if you look at this map if you're coming in any of the cities under this red line then you definitely should be packing a bit more additional winter clothes clothes if you're coming in any of the city above that line you may pack less the reason being that the southern part of Australia gets cold during these months so June July August even September is a bit cold here in Australia obviously the seasons are reversed than northern hemisphere so you have to be mindful of that when packing your bags also when it comes to packing you have to bring along some documents we actually got a very detailed video on the document side of the things and an article on our website as well but make sure to bring along documents like obviously your passport your educational qualifications any bookings you have made for flight accommodation your health cover your driving license and so on again check the link in the description box below for more details on the documents you need to bring the next one is in regards to jobs now very interestingly as most of you are aware that from the 1st of July 2023 the work restrictions will come back for international students so students will be capped to 24 hours per week 48 hours per fortnight in regards to work limits which is obviously a huge change considering many students can work unlimited hours until that time frame now when it comes to jobs there will be two things that will happen first thing with the restrictions coming back students can only work so much but the second thing is that with restrictions coming in some students who previously can work unlimited hours have to give up their work hours which means they can only do 24 hours so the businesses will start looking for people and who can fill those possible positions probably you although the unemployment rate is still quite low here in Australia but over the last few months you might have heard that the jobs are getting a bit difficult to get but this should not dishearten you because there are still plenty of jobs out there all you need to do is make sure you have some work experience before coming to Australia or try to do some short courses in order to get jobs we actually have a video regarding how you can get a job within a week of arriving please check that video after watching this video the next one is in regards to accommodation so I highly recommend you to book your accommodation before arriving into Australia the reason being at the moment finding accommodation is not only difficult for students but rather for everyone obviously many students and other migrants are coming back to Australia but there is a lack of supply in regards to housing many housing companies have collapsed over the last few months because of the cost of living crisis which has put a pressure on the housing demand and clearly at the moment we are struggling to find enough places for people so if you are planning to come to Australia 
Australia, I highly recommend that you pre-book your accommodation before coming to Australia. At least for a few weeks so you are sorted without worrying too much when you arrive here in Australia. As I said, it is a bit of a challenge at the moment to find accommodation. So plan ahead and try to book in advance before coming to Australia for your studies. The next tip is for connecting. Now I highly recommend you to connect with people from your university or people coming from your home countries as well. One of the things you can definitely do is to join different Facebook groups or WhatsApp groups that will pop up close to the July intake. There are obviously many Facebook groups and other groups out there already. We've got one as well. If you want to join, please feel free to join using the link in the description. But there are many other Facebook groups that you can join from your specific communities. For example, if you are an Indian student who's coming to Melbourne, then you can look up for groups like Indian students in Melbourne or Indians in Melbourne or groups like that. And you can look for other specific communities as well when you're coming to Australia. We also have a Google spreadsheet which you can fill up with your details and you can share it with your friends as well. As with that Google sheet, the plan is to help students who are coming from the same town or from the same city or from the same airport. They can share their details among themselves and then plan to come and book their accommodation or travel together as well. It certainly helps a lot for the students who are coming to a new country, especially if you have no one around here. So you can share those details with other travel mates and make friends along the way as well. So we'll leave the link of that in the description box for your reference and feel free to put those details and find the details of other people if you want to share send them an email connect with them and try to build a relationship before coming to Australia and last but not the least we suggest you check your uni website regularly the uni website has a lots of information for the students who are coming to the country especially if you are coming new to the country you should know about the campus facilities the surroundings of your university what's available where the lectures might be and trying to figure out because some universities are huge and their campuses can be really confusing so understanding those things can certainly help obviously if you're coming to Australia there are many things you're supposed to do after arriving in Australia as well so if you want to know more about things you need to do before coming to Australia or after arriving in Australia we've got some of those videos on our channel please check the videos in the description box below and make sure to get some ideas from there also we suggest you to download our overseas student guide 2023 as well before arriving in it's a very handy guide for international students covering a range of topics and things you need to do before arriving in Australia and even after arriving as well so hope you find some value in today's video please let us know if you have any questions and as always thank you for watching see you in the next one